Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more content. I, I, I heard that ducks have one hole. I don't know if you know that, but ducks have one hole. And they pee out of it, and they shit out of it, they get in it, and they lay eggs out of it. That has got to be one smelly, dirty hole. That hole has got to be a pretty awful place. I feel a little bad for the man duck because ducks are monogamous. I don't know if you know that, but ducks stay in their relationships forever. And by the time that duck gets to be 48, her husband must be like, dude, that shit sucks. I hate it. And then he goes and f a swan or something. His wife's like, why are you f lying for? She's got an asshole. That's why she's got an asshole. Okay, I got a green head. I don't know what that means. Just somehow, they got green heads. They deserve more. Uh, speaking of animal type humor that's not totally finished, uh, I. I actually, I have this joke joke, like a, you know, animals talking to each other type joke that I don't know how to finish it. I know what's funny about it, but I don't know how to finish it. What, basically, it's about a lion who goes up to a giraffe and he says, hey man, uh, did you see that dude? And the giraffe's like, what dude? And he goes, he's that dude, he lives by the river in a hut. And the giraffe goes, what does he look like? And the lion goes, he looks like this. And the giraffe's like, well, I know a dude that lives by the river, but he doesn't look like that. He goes, no, that's what he looks he's like. Ah! The giraffe says, I, I know a guy, but he looks like this. See, the lion just thinks that people look like that. The lion doesn't get that he makes a person look like that by scaring the shit out of him. He just thinks that, hey, that's that dude that's always going, ah! That's who, what he's like. I was on an airplane and there was a Hasidic Jewish man uh, trying to put an enormous bag under the seat. It doesn't matter that he was Hasidic, but it's a detail. <laughs> it's detail. When you try to put enormous bags under seats, folks notice the kind of person you are. They make note. <laughs> they say some Chinese guy, whatever you are, they're going to describe you. They're not just going to say, a man put a little giant thing under his seat. What kind of man? It's not important. Just a fellow. No, this guy. Trying to shove this thing under the seat. No one can leave because he's not going to not do it. And the flight attendant was a guy. Uh, and I'm not going to say he was gay because that's not important. Uh, it doesn't enter into the story. I'm gonna call the Jewish guy a Jewish guy, and I'm gonna call the gay guy just some guy. How do you like that? Isn't that unfair? I'm not gonna identify him as gay, because I don't want to discredit them. <laughs> Actually, he didn't do anything wrong. So, uh, boy, this what a disaster this is right now. <laughs> um... Jewish guy trying to put the thing under the seat, and the guy's going, sir, it's not gonna fit. It's, he was only slightly gay, like that. He wasn't like, sir, it's not gonna fit, ah! No, he just said, sir, it's not gonna fit. It's going to fit, I know it's going to fit. It's going to fit, I'm telling you, the Moses. <laughs> Okay, here's, here's the thing. I have two children, and the thing that scares me the most is that they disappear. That's the, nothing that scares me most, more than them disappearing. Uh, that's every parent's worst fear. Now, why do kids disappear sometimes? I think it's because somebody took them and had sex with them, and once you have sex with a kid, you, you gotta toss them, because people hate folks who have sex with kids more than pretty much anything. If you murder somebody, folks will find you a reason. Ah, you were upset, uh, you hadn't, you know, you didn't have, you were dehydrated, whatever. 
So here's the thing. So if you have sex with a kid, you got to chuck them out because if you because if, so, if the kid tells anybody, you're you're screwed. Um, so here's I can't help thinking that if we could take down a few notches the hatred for kid having sex people. Uh, at least you get the kid back. That's what I'm trying to say. Is is that the, the guy could just call you? Hey, I just kid. You want me to bring him to soccer or drop him at your house? Um, does does he have any nut allergies? Because he just uh, he just ate some cashew butter. I know. Listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. I know that's hard to hear. I know that's hard to hear, but it's true. It's true that if we minded child molesting less, less kids would die. That's true. Now, I don't know what to do with that information. I don't have a way to apply that to anything that's helpful. There is some sense that when you're out there looking for somebody, you're trying to get, you're trying to spread your seed. Uh, really, guys would like w all women to just lay on the ground with their legs open, and we could just spray like a mist, just, <laughs> just mists of cum that then trickle down. But I'm not one of those guys who could just walk up to women and start talking to them. Like, there's guys, like, there's a lot of uh, sinewy black guys uh, that, wear, that wear puka beads. Not, not hard brothers from the hood. Like, uh, with, like, a suede vest with nothing else on. <laughs> suede vest, both nipples showing. Good stomach, puka bead necklace. You know, like those, those bracelets that are like just leather. And he's, I'm getting a little hard just picturing this guy. <laughs> this guy's sexy. This guy gets laid. This guy gets laid. You know, you know when somebody sees a hot woman, there's that thing we just call a hot woman. Like there's a lot of guys who say, how do I talk to the hot girls? Why do you want to talk to a hot girl? Why would you want to talk to somebody with a drink and go, ah? Why would you want to have that conversation? You own a landscaping business. You're incredible. You're an amazing human being. You started a landscaping business from nothing. <laughs> her, man. Go get, get a, find a woman, an old, kind of your age, late 30s, Jewish girl, smokes and gives tough hand jobs. You know, I love, I love Jewish girls. Cause they just go, come on. And they're awesome. I'm gonna suck it, all right? You ready? Totally, suck it. You dirty Jew, I love you. The hardest thing about having kids is just the, all the, it's just the days that you spend with them. That's really the hardest part. It's just every day that you have them is the hardest part of having kids. It's just every day. It's getting up at six o'clock in the morning, which first of all, I'm not that guy. Six o'clock in the morning, I have blown off entire careers because of one day I didn't want to get out of bed. Like, I'll, I'll just not be that then. I have to, first of all, I gotta get them dressed. That's number one, because that's the one that people will notice. That's the only one. If that's the only one that I get done, I'll be okay. I, Cause I can't, if I show up with the two naked kids, I'll go to jail. So I have to, but I can not feed them. They know they're fine, I ate, they're just a little tired. It's fine. And then I gotta get them to school, which means walking the, the older one goes to kindergarten, it's third grade, Jesus Christ. I just said kindergarten, and she's in third grade. You know what's even worse? She's not, she's in second grade. 